Ten bad bitches in a mash. Rich so many rock them diamonds on me dancing. When you working hard, then your money start expanding. I got model bitches wanna lick me like some candy. Okay, so I have got to film this video like today because I need to wash my hair. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm trying not to do that anymore. Um, but I have this yakky, Italian yakky, uh, way from Y African. And this hair is so thick. Like, this is the thickest wig I've ever worn in my life. Like, ever. So what I did yesterday was I went out and I bought a wine curler. Because I'm like, let me just try to do some wine curls. I think that that would be really pretty in this hair. But I never owned a wine curler. So this will be interesting because, like, I don't know how to use one. <laughs> This is my first time using one. Uh, but this hair is really long and really pretty. I have I put out this little, you know, I have little piece, but I'll finish, like, I'll get this together when I'm done. I don't know how it's gonna look with the middle part, but I'm just gonna start, you know, wanding some stuff, and then we'll see. This fucking cord is too short. Ugh. Okay, and it came with a glove, um, but I don't know which hand I will like, use. Uh, okay, so definitely this hand. Hey, baby! I ain't eating them up! I didn't eat any more. Like I didn't eat no more cake. Okay, so while I'm straightening this hair, I'm noticing that it's really, it, it's getting straight. But like, I just feel like I don't want it to be too weighed down, but it definitely needed something. So this, um, what the hell is this? Olive oil, <laughs> moisturizing lotion, did really good for it. But I'm just feeling like it needs something else. So I'm gonna try this coconut oil on a very small section. Just in case the hair gets too heavy, um, and so I'm not walking around with no stale wig. Oh, no, that's just what it needed. I also took it upon myself to cut the front of the hair so it can layer my face. And to do that, I just took like my eyebrow razor and I just went along the sides of my face and I started about like maybe my cheekbone. 
and made that the shortest piece. See right here? I started like, is that it? Oh, I guess I didn't start that high. I started about my lip. Okay, so there's one side. I bumped it a little bit at the end. Now all we have to do is this side. I just want to point out that this wig has about five inches of parting space at the top. Um, and it has a good amount of parting space on the sides, but not like substantial enough to do like a deep side part. So if you were wanting to purchase this wig as for like your everyday wig, because it does look like, you know, like real everyday hair, um, then I would definitely try to get a full lace and go on the website and see if they have a full lace version of this. Um, or even a 360 because um, you'll kind of be stuck with a middle part or like that like side swap over kind of deal. Um, I know that some girls are like middle part girls and some girls are like die hard side part girls. So if you're a middle part girl and you are looking to purchase this wig, this lace front will be fine for you. But if you are a side part girl, you probably want to go for the full lace. Just so you can do that really deep side part, you know, and make it look really natural. Okay, so I'm all done straightening this hair and um, I really love it. Like, okay, no, I'm not gonna say I love it because I don't love it. I do love it. I love the texture of it. I just, it's so like poofy, but like, you know, when you're dealing with the wig, you kind of want something that's convenient for you. And this is more like on the natural side versus convenient side because the convenient side will be like that European silky texture versus you know actually having to deal with something that takes a little bit of work i mean it's not a little bit of work because the wig took all of 30 minutes of straightening but with like the silky hair um sometimes you don't even have to straighten it like you can just put some water on it and bounce but this hair if you don't straighten it you'll um have this blowout effect and uh if you're not really going for the blowout effect then you definitely have to straighten it you get what i'm saying okay cool i'll leave everything in the description box for this wig, um, if you guys want to see some wand curls or uh, bantu knots or any flat twists, anything on this hair, let me know. I'm taking requests. I'll do it for you. I also have a discount code, uh, Jayla15, to get you guys uh, some, I think, $15 off of your unit. And um, yeah, leave me comments about what kind of styles you want to see on this hair. I want to play with it. So I'll see you guys in my next video.